the clock is ticking. Sometime after midnight tonight, if NASA's calculations are right, an old dead satellite will re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and burn up. Most of it, but not all of it. About half a ton will make it through. There are some pieces that are made of stainless steel and titanium and beryllium that uh, have very high melting temperatures, and those pieces will survive. And we, we have a list of about 26 pieces, and they range from a few tens of pounds to a few hundred pounds in size. You heard him right. Some of the chunks of junk could be hundreds of pounds. But there's no need for you to run out and buy a hard hat. NASA scientists in Houston say there's very little risk that any of the debris from the six-ton URs, Upper Atmosphere Research Satellite, will hit you. You can be hundreds of miles off in where it's coming down. And that's Harvard University really astrophysicist down. Jonathan McDowell believes the space agency is probably right because much of the Earth is water. This is not like the old uh, Skylab scare of the, the 70s when you had a 70-ton space station crashing out of the sky. This thing's only six or seven tons. Uh, so I, I agree with the, the folks in uh, Houston. That it's, it's really nothing to be terribly concerned about. Parts of Skylab did hit Western Australia in 1979. So where will this one come down? Well, no one knows. Even minutes before re-entering the atmosphere, NASA won't be able to pinpoint the exact location. The satellite is traveling so fast, it covers thousands of miles of space in just minutes. Right now, the impact swath covers portions of six continents. Part of the problem is the spacecraft itself is tumbling and in unpredictable ways, and, uh, and, the, and it is very difficult to very precisely pinpoint where it's coming down, even right before the re-entry. If the thing happens to come down in the city, that would be bad. Uh, the chances of uh, it causing expensive damage or actually injuring someone are much higher. One thing is certain. Once it hits the atmosphere, 50 miles up, it will take only a few minutes before the surviving pieces hit the Earth.